I'm moderately sick, so Kevin's gonna review something. Welcome everybody to the Show Us Reviews. I'm Kevin, Dylan's musician and friend, and he's sick, as he said earlier, so I decided to review I Hate Fairyland because just came out and I looked at it at the comic book store and I said, this looks like it might be good. And it was. Kind of not that good. The best thing about this book and what will immediately stand out to any reader is Scotty Young's art. The colors are extremely vibrant and everything has sort of a motion to it. So reading it, it feels less like I'm reading a comic book and more like I'm watching an animation, which is a very good thing. The book is full of creative and funny one-off characters that usually draw from various places of pop culture usually satirizing them. This book is also extremely fun to read because the creatures, every single one of them, has a lot of blood and guts that are often exposed. The main character, Gertrude, slaughters practically everything she sees, including the stars, which also have guts, which is funny. Most of the humor from this book comes from the same joke repeated over and over again in different ways, which is, Look at Gertrude, she's supposed to be this normal girl, but instead she's gone crazy and she's murdering everything in this happy fairy fun world. Which was funny for the first few pages, but when it doesn't really offer anything new for the rest of the book, it kind of becomes stale. Another joke that gets beaten into the ground is how they replace all their curse words with happy words. It was kind of funny at first, even though it's been done before, but when there's one of them, like, almost every single line of dialogue, it is no longer funny. It's just annoying. And I'm sure a lot of that comes down to personal taste, but honestly, no matter what the joke is, once it's been done 20 times in the same thing, I no longer find it funny, even if it was hilarious when it started off. That's just kind of the nature of humor. Another thing this book does poorly with its humor is blowing its load way too early. There'll be a really effective setup for a joke, and in the next panel, the punchline of the joke happens, and it doesn't really give you enough time to actually value the joke. Another problem with Gertrude's character is that she's practically invincible. She keeps getting introduced to new threats and every single time, even if she gets beaten to a pulp, she always survives. Even if all of her bones are broken, somehow in the next panel, they're all back to normal again. Which I suppose you could chalk up to it being part of that book's world, but it kind of takes out any possible stakes for the character. It's hard to actually root for the character when we pretty much know that no matter what happens, she's gonna come out on top because she can't possibly die or be injured in any way. There are a few points where the dialogue is extremely funny. Funny. Something this book does very well with its humor are its visual jokes. For example, when Gertrude's bee companion that I forgot the name of builds a house and then burns it down, that was probably the biggest laugh I got out of that book, which still wasn't that big of a laugh, but I was able to appreciate it for what it was. I'd recommend giving this book a read, even if it is just to appreciate the really well done art. It's hard to talk about the story because there really is no story, it's just kind of going through every single trope that they could possibly think of and satirizing it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing as a lot of the times it is funny and it doesn't really need a story to deliver the jokes it just kind of needs to set them up so that's what i say go read the book you might laugh you might not probably won't all that much to be honest but it's got good art see you later have a great day have a great afternoon morning and good night scotty young i love you don't it's a fine he is you are a very talented artist it's you know i'm sorry i'm getting out of this house forever i'm leaving Shit, you got a lot of locks on this door, dude. <laughs> this fuck is leaving. Okay. There we go. All right, see you later.